Cody's going to try and force uh, Tochi Ozan upright and get a good Okay, pass. hello everyone. Remember, Tochi Ozan came out with a thrusting attack against you. I'm starting my coverage of day seven, Saturday, uh, the middle weekend of sumo here in Tokyo, uh, with a match between that man that you see right there, Tochi Ozan, who many of you might not have seen before, and he's fighting a Mongolian wrestler named Koryu on the other side. And uh, the reason I'm showing this match is because Tochi Ozan is uh, among the four people, uh, the four wrestlers rather, who are still undefeated. He's got a 6-0 record going into today, today day 7, and uh, we'll see if he continues his un, uh, un, unlosing, <laughs> unbroken streak. Okay, here we go. Surprisingly not well where we thought he, he would do okay. Oh, well, he's still only young, 22 years old. Can he stay perfect or can call you rain on his parade? Tochi Ozan is on the left. Oh, A little sideways, Koryu. He's going to be caught quickly. That was easy. Good sumo, Tochi Ozan. 7 0, equaling his March record of last year. Kimarite, when they say Kimarite, that's winning technique. How did they win? Did they, whoa, sorry about that. Did they push the guy out? Did they trip him? Did they slap him down? You know, they have a bunch, a bunch of techniques. Um, so, frontal push out, rear push out, you know, all these kinds of things. So that's what that means. And there is Yamamoto Yama in the Burgundy. Great sumon as well, but tomorrow's going to be the real key. I mean, you know, if he wants to do something exciting this time out, he's got to deal with the pr pressure of that eighth win on the eighth day. If he could do that, this could be a pretty spectacular tournament for the uh, Casadano Bay uh, youngster. Well, he's met Homash Shore five times and won them all. So, let's see how he handles it. But of course, he, of course, a lot of times he's, he's met Homa Show, and Homa Show was far from 100% you know, fit. Sit. By the way, tomorrow Cody will meet Iwakiyama. There he is, still atop the leaderboard on his own at the moment. It's guaranteed. So, the other three guys that are undefeated right now going into day seven are Baruto, the large Estonian Sekiwake, and the two Yokozuna, Ashishoru and Hakuho. Um, they all have 6-0 and records. Um, so, Tochi Ozan takes his place amongst that pretty elite group. Um, he's fighting way down at like Magashira 12 this tournament. Um, but he's fighting really well. So he'll definitely, um, I'm assuming, get his Kachikoshi, his 8 wins. Perhaps even tomorrow and be promoted up the ranks. Um, so next up, Yamamoto Yama. The big guy who I've talked about. He's 2-4. and four. Going into today, not great. He's fighting a guy from Georgia, um, not in the United States, the European Georgia, um, named Aran. And so Aran is there on the right in blue, and the large 252 kilo Yamamoto Yama is on the left in the burgundy. I'll turn the commentary back on. And the sumo technique. It's, it's just, it's just shocking. He does sumo <laughs> that the guy that size shouldn't be able to do. He has a two-four record. Uh, oh, he, sorry he, about the wiggle. Have, of course, being that size is a break. Uh, he can't stop quickly and spin on a dime because of the the ones that have exploited that he's been taken out easily. Well, he, he does have he does have a, a, a much better mobility than any Japanese big man I've ever seen, but. The problem is, he, he sometimes he, he gets caught with his hips too high. And once his hips are too high, he becomes very easy to move left, right, etc. Because these guys are very skilled at doing just that. You know, if they catch you in an advantageous, uh, in, a, in a disadvantageous position, they're going to capitalize on it. Well, he might have the advantage here because Tochi Ocean, if I can be critical of him, he does come in a little high. That's true. That's true. Um, he oh. could attack, but. Really quick, sorry, it's, that's not Aran. It's a different guy from Russia, Tochinoshin. Tochinoshin, go men. 
I apologize. The guy in the blue is not Iran. Okay. Between these two, so that could work to Yamamoto Yama's advantage. Bit of an unknown. If Yamamoto Yama can keep uh, Toichi Nishin dead set, then slightly uh, less than a hundred kilos between the two in weight. Yeah. Difference. Three and three, Toichi Nishin. Yamamoto Yama's are mentioned two and four. <laughs> Both men like to fight from the right hand and side grip. Toichi Nishin, left hand shallow grip, forces Yamamoto Yama up, who grabs the arm bar. Gets him to the edge and wins. Toshi Noshi not too pleased about it. Both men three and four. That'll do it for early match action today on Saturday. Uh, what is today? January 17th. And um, I'll be back uh, with some of the bigger matches. Today, the big highlight match is uh, Koto Oshu Baruto. So I'll definitely have that match for you and some other um, upper rank action. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Whoa, watch him push him out. Okay, bye.